Hello and welcome back to the computer lab. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the long exposure effect in Apple's iOS on your Apple iPhone. So let's get started. So a list of the current supported models is in the middle of your screen. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a screen recording on the left so you can see the apps that I'm going into. And on my right, I'm going to show my uh, hand movements and what I'm pushing. So the first thing we need to do is open up the camera. Uh, you can go uh, into your app and find it on your phone uh, or shortcut by swiping up or swiping down, depending on which phone you're using. Okay, so once you've got the camera open, make sure that you have photo picked on the bottom slider. You've got multiple options uh, on that bottom slider. Uh, so just make sure it's on the photo app to start with. Uh, the next thing is the live photo. So this is the most important part of this process. I'm going to do um, a photo without and also going to take one with. So you can see the difference um, and you can also then see which menus you get at the uh, sort of back end of this video when we do the processing and put the effects uh, and the long exposure effect on uh, the photograph. So I'm just going to spin the fidget spinner just to create motion. And this is the uh, first sample photograph with live off. So this is not how you want to do it. So it's just to illustrate what you will see if you take one with and without. So now I'm going to switch live photo on. So again, up to the top bar, it's the um, the one with the circles uh, and it goes yellow when it's highlighted. Uh, so make sure that's switched on and this is the one that you need to create the effect. So I'm going to spin the fidget spinner again just to create motion for my long exposure shot. Take a single photograph. And now that I have that photo, I can now open my Photos app, which is where the uh, magic happens in iOS for this long exposure shot. So push the home button and then go into your Photos app. Mine's on my top left hand corner. So I'm just gonna push into Photos. And then what I'll also do while I'm here, I've got a little folder created called Long Exposure Tutorial. So I'll um, just put the two photographs I've taken and I'll just uh, put them into that particular folder. I'm putting them in that folder because there's a couple of waterfalls in there as well that I can show you at the end of this video uh, and what the effect it gives to sort of running water with stationary stuff around it. Okay, so I'll just get it back in focus a second. There we go. Okay, so I'll put the two uh, pictures we've just taken into this uh, folder on the iPhone. Uh, and you can see the waterfalls there. I'll show you them at the end, uh, but we'll just work with the two photographs of the fidget spinner uh, spinning um, and then I'll be able to show you the difference between one that's taken without a live uh, and one that's got live enabled so this is the first photograph this is uh, taken without live um, so I know it's uh, not live because it's the top left hand corner and also when you swipe up in the picture there is no effects menu so there's nothing in the top left hand corner of the picture to tell me that live is enabled and no menus when I swipe up so I need to go back to the other photograph that we took and this is the one with live on. I know it's live because it tells me so in the oh, tells me so in the top left hand corner. Uh, so this is definitely a live photo. So now we swipe up the photograph, and then with this particular photograph with live enabled, we have the effects menu. There's a couple of different things we can do in there. I'm not going to show you that. So I'm just going to push on long exposure because this uh, video is about how to apply long exposure. And you can see in the picture there is applied this nice effect um, that. Um, long exposure creates on iOS. So just zoom in a bit, just so you can see the picture a bit better. A real nice effect. Um, but bearing in mind, I took this photograph with my hand. It wasn't fixed on a tripod. I just I was holding the camera in my hand. Um, so yeah, it's usually better if you can use a tripod. So I'm going to go into these waterfall ones and just show you the difference. So some of these were taken with live on and some with off. So this one, particular one, as I swipe through, you can tell you see in the top left hand corner, it tells me what's enabled on these particular photos. So this one has uh, live and HDR. So I, mean, I could have applied the effects to that. I'll just try and find a nicer picture. So there's no live on that one. Now this one's got live and HDR. So this could be quite a nice photo. So I'll just zoom in to show you what it looks like without the uh, long exposure effect on your iPhone. So you see that you see the details in the waterfall. So go to the image, swipe up with your thumb. 
to the effects menu, the effects menu at the bottom, the different effects are there. We're going to click on click on long exposure, let the phone do its magic. And then you can see straight away there it's applied the long exposure effect. So again, yeah, this was taken by hand, uh, no tripod, I just held the camera in my hand to take the photograph. So it's always worth maybe just going through your old photos and see if there's any taken with uh, live switched on and just applying the effect and seeing what um, results you get from that. Okay, so that's it. That's how to apply the long exposure effect on your iPhone in Apple's iOS. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit the thumbs up button below. Also, I would love to hear any comments below if you enjoyed the video or not. And please do subscribe to the Computer Lab.